New tonight, community groups are zeroing in on social media in an effort to prevent crime. Yeah, so we touched upon the changing role of digital apps yeah. during our City in Crisis special. News H Julia Dang followed up with community leaders. And Julia, they're monitoring social media now. That's right, Phil. The group called the uh, Ten Point Coalition is keeping an eye on hundreds of local accounts. And they're doing digital outreach, working to de-escalate online confrontations before they turn violent. Police and community groups have to start paying attention to social media because a lot of the violence stems from what's going on on social media also. Ten Point Coalition leader Charles Harrison is zeroing in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and other platforms as a crime prevention tool. It's part of an effort the community group kicked off a decade ago. But now, more than ever, Harrison believes his Facebook feed can foreshadow anti-social behavior. When someone um, does a, a, a live social, uh, uh, you know, social media post where they're live and then they are uh, saying bad things about another person, then probably that's going to lead to, to some kind of confrontation and violence too. Just one week before City in Crisis, at Town Hall, Wish TV aired last Tuesday, a 40-year-old woman was shot to death. It happened 24 hours after she posted a video saying her life was being threatened. Yeah, they tried to kill me, so ain't that happen to me? According to Harrison, Ten Point has prevented crime by looking out for content like that and alerting police. Oh, we have. We have prevented shootings. But he says community groups need more support to expand their work. He's convinced grassroots crime prevention works because that's the model that stopped him from making the biggest mistake of his life. I was so angry as a 14-year-old young man that I wanted to seek revenge against those who had killed my brother. His 21-year-old stepbrother was shot to death, leaving behind an infant son. Harrison credits community leaders with stepping in and telling him revenge wouldn't be worth it. Now, he says he is that community leader, and he's sharing that message more and more online. I've been there, and I can tell young people it's not worth it. In addition to shootings, Ten Point Coalition leaders are working to prevent other crimes, including robberies. They tell me they're urging people not to post photos flashing a handful of cash. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, Wish TV, News 8.